Hey everyone, Sage is here, and welcome to another Let's Play of mine, this time a 3DS game called Virtue's Last Reward. For those who don't know, this is actually a sequel to 999, 9 Persons, 9 Door, 9, nine Hours, I think it is. I, I, I could be butchering that title a little bit, but uh, that was for the, for the DS, this is for the 3DS, and also the Vita, but anyways, let's go in. And we're going to just start this right on up. You're probably going to just see the please select audio language. We're going to go with English. Thank you very much. Apparently this game is a work of fiction. And none of the characters or actions or anything in here is realistic. So December 25th, 2028. Oh my. Anywho's, um, there is spoken dialogue in this game, but Sigma here, who is the main character, who basically we're seeing the world through his eyes, um, we're g <laughs> he only speaks in basically bleeps and bloops, but I'm not going to be reading out his dialogue, because I feel I cannot portray him in a very good light for the most part. I'm just going to be here talking. Everyone else pretty much already has their own dialogue. They actually have a voice and everything else. Apparently Sigma's hurt. And his head's gonna explode. That's great. Oh, this looks quaint. It's like some sort of elevator. Anyways. Only this elevator is his multicolored handles. And a bunny elevator, apparently. There's a bunny picture. Isn't that obvious? Oh hi. I would hope you would kick her while he was sleeping. Oh, and I just dropped my stylist. Oh, good, but I have another one right over here, so it doesn't matter anyways. Ugh. I'm plenty friendly. Oh, now you talk again. I said I'm plenty friendly. I don't think she knows either, but you know. Don't know. <laughs> A little bit much there, Sigma. A little bit much. But oddly, you know what? You know, I'm not going to spoil it. I already know much about the story, guys, so uh, for those asking, I do know where to go and what to do. Uh, but we'll discuss that more during the puzzles. For now! Eh, not gonna tell us. Sigma. Uh, no, that is my name. She's. Wait. How did you know my. Uh, how did you know the name, anyways? Huh? Come on, tell us a little bit, Fee. You know, oftentimes there's gonna be. A it's going to be a bit complex to discuss. You know, I'm trying to formulate my words here a little bit better. No, but you haven't. Oh. All right. I don't have any idea who you are. But... Fair enough question. How do you know her name, huh? How the hell am I supposed to know? Helpful. I just know it, okay? Sure. Shut up! Uh, oh, okay. Just oh, wow. Back off, Grandpa. Grandpa. Look, I just don't know. All right? It's just kind of there. Sure, sure it is. You're crazy. Like I looked at you, and some part of my brain just said, "That's Sigma." Sure. What do you think this thing is? Oh. This bracelet. It's a very fancy watch. That's what it See, is. See, you've got one too. I do? They're pretty much identical. Oh, there's my watch. Pretty. It's red. I like red. Pear. Okay. It's on sure. already when I woke up. So, I uh. figured out what it's for yet, Is this some sort of inane, you know, hot date action going on in here? Some sort of television series? I'm guessing reality show. That's my guess. 
Where we have to escape no. and I don't know. We're paired together. It's just got a three and the word pair. I actually think from the original concept art for this, uh, they were actually going to be watches that were chained together. That would have been interesting. What are you doing? He's gnawing off his own arm to escape. Good luck. It's a lot like a squirrel. No, I okay. spent a while trying to get mine off while you were napping. Oh, gee, thanks. It's on pretty tight. Doesn't even have a clasp or anything. Eh. I don't want to lose this watch. It's pretty fucking awesome. Although I wish it would tell us more time than just three. Three I what? Them, but nothing happened. <laughs> Not even a beep. Oh, okay. It's a broken watch then. Well, I'm sure I can get, you know, get out, go get repaired. All right. Well, 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 well. Eh. Yeah. All right. Now let's just. Oh. Hey, look. Oh, good. I know what's coming. There's something on that screen over there. <laughs> oh, hello. Let's just go over there and hi. How are you feeling? I am Zero the Third, the king of this kingdom. Oh, okay. A holographic bunny is talking to me from an elevator screen. That seems about as normal as I thought it would sound. A rat? Oh, how do you two? How is that a... Yeah, what Sigma said. I'm sure you've got lots of questions. Sure we do, Mr. Holographic Bunny. It just seems silly to have a big old chit-chat right now. So, I'm gonna give you a game to play. Oh, good. Yes. Yes, yes. And I'm calling it the Nunnery Game. That was really loud and not necessary. That was loud too and not necessary again. There's more to it. Oh, uh, great. But if I told you now, that would be cheating. Great. So, hurry up and get out. We... I'll be waiting. Great. We have a preschool edition of Jigsaw over here. Wonderful. <laughs> You know, things are just getting better. What is it, Bunny? Spit this it out. elevator you're in? Uh-huh. It's gonna fall in a few minutes. Oh. Way down. Oh. Great. Yes, indeedy. So you better get moving. Thanks a lot. See you later. Have a nice trick. Trick? I don't think that's right. I don't think it was right. I don't think the bunny actually got it right if he was an oh, undermine. Oh, I get it. Trip and trick, huh? Ah. Uh. <laughs> yes, yes, God damn it. Okay, it might be bullshit. Yeah, thanks. Well, he told us there was a we're on an elevator and there's something going on. I'm not sure what's going on. So, you know what? We're just going to go with it. Uh, we won't be able to if we can't get out of here. Yeah, I agree. I don't want to die here any more than you. Okay. Let's go. Sounds like a plan to me. Nice to see your little Miss Sunshine as always. All right, now we need to seek a way out. And that, okay, the game consists of two sections, the escape portion and the novel portion. This is the escape portion. Uh, whenever you're in a room, hence the name, blah, blah, blah. First touch anything on the left of the screen, catch this tension, slide over the stylus sideways, and will allow you to move the camera from room. Blah, 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 blah. So basically, we can move around the room with the stylist and we can figure out a big, eh, this puzzle. But since I already know pretty much what's going on, and you can zoom by clicking on interesting objects. Of course, it's just going to tell you that right now. But you know what? I already knew that. So, um, we also have other features that I'll go in over those in a bit. Yes, we can touch a little strip. Like Memo, I can write stupid notes like, uh, uh very vital. Very, very vital. Anyways, um, let's just continue on over here. Okay, so you may notice the fire extinguisher is not, in fact, in its box over here. 
Yes. Thank you. Fire extinguisher, yes. Something like this doing in the elevator. Isn't that obvious? It's here in case it's... Thanks, little Miss Sunshine. Once more. Once more from the top. As informal as always. Ah. I think it would be nice if we could set ourselves on fire. That'd be great. Yes, I know it's a fire extinguisher. That's the only problem right now is that I'm using a very large stylus compared to the 3DS screen, so there's a bit of an issue. Nope. Damn it. Is it locked? Looks like looks that way. Yeah, okay. Let's just zoom out. And you may notice these little handles. So we're just going to yoink these right now. Yes, it can come off. Damn it. Oh, blue handle. Okay. Uh-huh. While on the item screen, you can inspect items found and combine them or hold them. Hoard them? Hoarding hoarding does work, too, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So, basically, we can tap over here and we can look at it from all angles. Pretty simplistic. Kind of see that it has what seems to be a... I guess a plus sign of some sort. The grip is blue. All right. And we're just going to get the red one now. And red handle. Gonna go over here, get the yellow and green. Pressing that. I really need to get my other stylus so I don't have to do this. Remind me after this episode to actually do that. In fact, I'm gonna do that in the off time. Uh, let's see. So we have those. We also have that picture there, but we'll get to that in a second. So down here are obviously very odd looking screws. Yeah, it is. With just the handle, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, but w that's pretty much for a little bit later in the puzzle. So, right now you've also probably noticed the screen. We'll get back to this a bit later, and there's a safe as well. But anyways, here it says push a button. And then it's a little bit odd for instructions, and I'm not quite sure what. And uh, that doesn't seem like a normal fire extinguisher. Anyways, let's go back to that fire extinguisher real quick. Doing these all out of order. God damn it. Anyways. There's the key. Yes. Oh, good. Full of explosives. Yeah, you are just little Miss Sunshine right now. Thanks. Uh, let's just get in here. I'm just gonna nickname her Sunshine from now on. Alright. Yeah, I did this a bit better out of order, but you know what? I can't recall. There's a few pieces of metal in here. Four of them. They look like sockets and wrenches. Okay, let's see. Triangular tip. Looks like a... Okay. Yes, combining items helps. Thank you. It's possible to combine two items you selected. A new item will be created if that's... Uh-huh. Well aware. All right. So, let's take a look and see which one has a triangle tip. Or, if I recall... Actually, I don't know. Hmm. I think we can just try them all until that actually works because I forget exactly. But, yeah. Pretty much just keep trying. Oh actually for later I'm thinking about the actual elevator portion so anyways just combine da 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 green and last but not least red I went the wrong way good job me and done later on I'm actually gonna play through as well while we're doing this again to remind me of the puzzles later on because this is gonna be a bit awkward if I don't you know I'm pressing right there thank you okay Anyways, undo that. And now just select the green wrench. I, I press, I should be able to, yes, remove it. You know what, I'm gonna, whoo. Just need to get this, for some reason my stylus is not reacting to this, this is great. There we go. All right. Thanks. 
Luke, she's so nice. Uh, you know, it's odd to have completely, completely uh, shaped screws here. I never knew screws came in squares or triangles or whatever else. All right. Okay. Yeah, just open it. Oh, lordy. And now we're on to the next puzzle. Controls for the rules generally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't solve a mini game. You can quit by touching back, etc. If you keep touching through the other characteristics, it'll start to give you hints. But that's only on easy mode, and we're not going to do e easy mode, just so we're clear. To get the good ending in the game, you actually have to do all the puzzles on hard, and that's what we're aiming for. Probably. Okay. By the way, did I forget? Yeah, I know. I can move it with control pad also by moving it. So. We have to, oh, we have to move the green down there. Fuck, I'm stupid. Ah! I'm just going to retry. Just, there we go. There we go. Oh, my goodness. There. Done. Pretty simplistic. Although I'm slightly retarded there. Just so we're clear. Anyways, sweet. Yep. Yes, that is in fact a memory card. But before we can do anything else, we actually... Oh my god, don't... Stupid freaking... Ah! I need to get my other stylist. Anyways! Just a bunch of pictures of babies and old people. Great. Ah, something's okay, yeah. They'll put it... So basically, when you collect items like that, they're put in the file, which is down at the bottom, in the archives. All you have to do is go down here. That is my note. That is not the archives. This is the archives. These are helpful notes in case you want to know anything about it, but pretty much we want to go here. All right. So, try counting the number of babies and old people. So, if we are to eliminate all the uh, in between, basically, so we have children, we also have uh, what looks like just normal adults. We want to remove those. So, pretty much we have one, two, three, four babies, and one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven old people. So, what exactly does that help us with? Well, in case you didn't notice, there's two handrails with buttons over here on both sides of the elevator. That's specifically old people. I believe that was seven. Ah. All right. To, to do to do and that is not what I wanted I believe there were four that is not what I wanted thanks because the camera was slightly tilted I believe just to refresh my memory <laughs> you're gonna be noticing one two three four yes one two three four five six seven yep okay I believe there was four In case my memory sucks again I'm just gonna check one last time because I am completely retarded like yeah four okay Four babies and four old people, but you notice nothing's happened. So, what do we do? Well, that's a bit of an issue. You see, there's also this button over here, and it seems to have a picture of a bunny. So, pretty much, if you can recall, what did the bunny say his name was? His, it was Zero. Well, there you go. So, we put, we put in Zero, and we get a memory card. Take the memory card, done. And there's also a bit of a secret here. What else was, there's actually two numbers in his name. He was zero the third, so. And done. Yes, it's the controls panel I wanna leave. All right, so we figured that puzzle out. And we're gonna put these in here. Ah, it turned on. Good. Look at that. It's working now. Yep, sure is. All right. So, we also have these memory cards, which one is actually a secret, just so we're clear, but put it in, please. And that did not change any color. And put this in. 
So we're gonna get a green screen and it's gonna give us this. So what the hell is this? We'll get into that in a second. Some kind of password. And there just so happens to be a safe below this. Whatever could it be? Just, yeah, you know. Okay. In case you didn't notice, remembering, quote unquote, it's just gonna be in our archive. So we can, you can take a look at that at any time, but we also have a blue screen now. So, there's also another password. You have found a hidden file password. So basically, I think it's actually gonna explain it right now. Um, okay, no it won't. Basically, in every puzzle, in every puzzle room like these, there's going to be two passwords that come from a screen or something similar to that that allows us to open up the safe twice. Opening up the safe twice, um, basically, pretty much, we, we could have the secret and we also have the escape file. For the secret, uh, the secret, ah, good lord. Yes, squ a square metal box, yeah, it looks like a safe. Oh, uh, yes, it is a safe. Pretty much, the secret file unlocks things in the secret archives, which allows you to look at more developer perspective things and stuff like that. It's kind of neat. We're going to try to get all of the passwords so you guys know what to do, just in case. <laughs> Let's just try and open it. How? Well, there's some kind of pad in the front, right? I'm guessing that's how you open it. Right. Let's give it a shot, then. Oh, well, now it's going to explain it. These saves have two passwords, one for escaping and one for a hidden file. When you open the safe using the escape password, you get a key and you're allowed to leave the room when you're in, blah, blah, blah. If you open the safe with a hidden file password in hard mode, you'll get a gold file. If you open it in easy, you get a silver file instead. Silver just has less information. Um... Gold files contain supplementary facts with and background, background information that will give novel sections added depth. We're actually not going to be looking at the secret files until after certain portions because they can tend to have spoilers and I don't like spoiling it. Anyways, but before we open this, this uh, whole little bundle of joy, I don't know what to call it exactly, this whole little bundle, um, we're going to end the episode here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.